Today we're at the Rock the Vote headquarters in Washington, D.C. I'm joined by Heather Smith, the organization's executive director. Heather, you know, when I think of Rock the Vote, I think about energizing young people around presidential elections, but I know there's a lot more work that you guys do, especially in the off season. Yeah. You know, at the core of your mission is really protecting voters' rights, and we're seeing those threatened in Wisconsin right now. How are you all involved in that? Yeah, Wisconsin, New Hampshire, North Carolina, we're seeing state by state a series of attacks on young people's right to vote. And really it's like some people want to make it harder to vote, and we at Rock the Vote believe that's wrong. We should be making it easier and more accessible and actually modernizing our election system. So we have young people activating on the ground, they're showing up in protest, they're calling their members, uh, their state senators, uh, state representatives, they're writing letters to the editor, they're getting involved and they're taking a stand. Mm -hmm. And I know that so much of what you all do is about education. Right. I know you have Democracy Day coming up mm -hmm. and, and a program geared towards high school students. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so we think of Rock the Vote and every four years there's a presidential election, but it's actually every day that people turn 18. So we believe that we need to be out there talking to those young people every day and in their schools, in their high schools, in their community centers, making sure they understand the right they have as a citizen of this country and how to navigate the political process. And so we've created a really cool lesson plan. It's just 45 minutes and on March 23rd of this year, as we commemorate the 40th anniversary of the amendment, the 26th amendment, which gave 18 year olds the right to vote, we're calling on educators to take this lesson plan and use it as a way to communicate and educate their, their young people and their students about the right they have as voters. Mm -hmm. Already I've had hundreds and hundreds of teachers sign up to teach it uh, this school year in their classroom and we expect when all of our partners start promoting it as well, uh, that it'll be in thousands of classrooms around the country. What do you want high school kids to learn? What do you want them to know the day they turn 18 to be responsible citizens yeah. and voters? Well, you know, when you turn 16, you know, go to the DMV, get your driver's license. When you turn 21, you know, okay, I can, you know, go buy a beer. Uh, but when you turn 18, no one is out there in a, in a, in a, you know, in a way spread out all around the country saying, when you turn 18, now you get to register to vote. And we're not teaching our young people the civic, you know, information they need to be informed and active in our democracy. Everything from where do I get a voter registration form to what is the history of this voting rights struggle to how do I actively participate in this democracy. So we just want to make sure they have the tools and the information they need to be active citizens, to make up their own minds and participate in their first election. And voter registration is different state to state. What mm -hmm. sort of challenge does that create for you as an organization yeah. to make sure you're able to reach out to everyone and that they understand? Yeah, it is. Every single state is different. Um, there's different registration deadlines. There's different processes. So uh, it takes a ton of work, actually. Uh, and we are working with the secretaries of states. We work with the elections officials. We work with the educators. And we make sure that in every one of these places, uh, we're teaching the students the information they need about the process. Uh, in fact, the number one reason an 18-year-old doesn't go and cast a ballot in their first election is that they didn't know how or when to register to vote. We work with you know, musicians and, and artists and talent who speak to millions of people every day, and they use that voice and leverage that voice to spread the message and the word. And you know, for 21 years, it's been incredibly effective I've uh, registered more young people than any other organization, period. So.